Hello guys and welcome to Blue Pterodactyl. My name is Milda and uh, I have a little update about Colleen Weaver's case that I did last time. Uh, I don't know if you can hear but there's some drilling happening outside so sorry about that. They're building a new building or something. Right, so um, this couple new updates. So first of all FBI joined the case so it's B now, she disappeared, come on, she disappeared 18th of um, October. So it's been a week and two days of today. Um, she's still missing. So I have a little interview from her mom. Um, and police and the mom thinks... Um, there's been some foul play involved and she's been lured away from her home uh, by a male, an older male, an older male pretending to be a teenage boy. That's where it's believed so far. Um, the mom doesn't believe she ran away. Um, and to be honest, it's quite weird because she left her phone, she left money, she didn't take any um, extra clothing. Um, so. At the beginning, we didn't know what was she's wearing. Um, at the moment, the mum believes she's wearing sweater and some leggings. And as I said before, she um, she was wearing some black rimmed glasses as well. Uh, 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 right. So, hang on, bear with me, what's this, Okay, so right, so that's the picture of um, Colleen. She's 16 year old. She's missing from Rainha, Massachusetts. She went missing 18th of October, and it is believed that she left her home between what did they say? Between 1 and 4 a.m. However, the sister her sister her older sister was up from two till three and she didn't hear anything and then <coughs> oh sorry and her dad got up at 4 30 a.m and he didn't notice anything different so i think it's safe to assume she's missing from one o'clock is when mum saw her and then one forty six I think is when the Gmail chat was sent out to her friend. But the friend says they haven't talked in weeks and he doesn't even understand what's happening. So that's why they think um that someone was pretending to be a teenage boy, right? So the Gmail message was sent out one 146 I think on one um, basically before two but that was sent out from her home so it probably that she was missing from just before 2 a.m. till well but then the sister was up at two making cookies right and she didn't hear anything so she couldn't have left unless the sister didn't hear from two till three that's when she was missing uh, that's when she was doing cookies so either she disappeared she left basically just before two or before three and half four because at half four a.m when the dad gets up right 
So, um, okay, so Weaver's mother, Kristen Weaver, fears her daughter may have met someone online who lured her to meet in person. Police said she is believed to be in danger. Um, the new information is that investigators, so that wasn't, well, it wasn't confirmed at least before, but investigators said they believe Weaver may have traveled somewhere about 100 miles away from her home and may be in New Hampshire, Connecticut, Vermont, or in Springfield, or Provincetown in Massachusetts. Okay, so they have no idea where she is, but is believed. So at the beginning, the mom said, oh, she might have traveled to Florida. Okay, so down. Um, I'm gone. So, right, so that's the Rainham right here where she's missing from. I'm gone. Can't see half of my head. Okay, so that's the Rainham. Massachusetts that's where she's missing from at the beginning the mom said she might have traveled to Florida that's pff, that's very far right now they say that she might have uh, traveled to Maine there's four hours almost five hours drive um, also they said before that she might have been in Springfield. In, sp in Springfield as well. So that's one and a half hours drive. They don't know. Basically, yeah. So that's almost 100 miles. And Maine, how... Maine was much further than the um, the Maine was three hundred miles. So hmm, well, maybe if she went here, it would be it would be closer. But anyway, so they they believe she's somewhere in hundred miles radius. I'm not sure why they believe that, um, but that's what they say. FBI joined the investigation as well a couple of days ago. Um, now she's uh, another worrying thing is that the mom, Kristen Weaver, said her daughter has neurological disorders that make her particularly vulnerable and trusting. That's why it's believed she'd been lured away um, because she's easily trusting and she might have believed and it didn't cause her any suspicions that someone pretending to be um, her friend or a another teenage boy, you know? Um, right, so I'm just gonna... Police in Massachusetts say a missing teen from Raynham, maybe right here in the Granite State. 16-year-old Colleen Weaver has been missing for about a week now. Her mom fears she met somebody online who lured her away from home. Her mom also says she has a neurological disorder that makes her vulnerable and trusting. I am so worried because this, this makes me think that she's being held against her will or she's in a position where she can't reach out to me. And that mm. that's even more scary. So police say they have reason to... Yeah, so th th that's the little mom's interview given to the news. Um, she's visible upset. Um, she's panicking, obviously, as you would um, if your daughter is missing. Uh, we don't really know anything else about the family um, or or the mom or any relationship. It hasn't been said. Um, 
They believe Colleen may have traveled somewhere out of state, potentially to here in New Hampshire. Okay, so now um, they're saying she might have been in New Hampshire. So as you see, like, like nobody knows. They say it could have been 100 miles radius. She could be in Maine. She could be in Florida. Um, and now she could have been in New Hampshire. Hang on. So... New Hampshire. Right. New Hampshire, Maine. So they believe she's somewhere here. I'm not sure why there's um, nothing was told exactly. Yeah, so it's been a week, obviously. Everyone is worried. Um, yeah, she is so now she's officially listed as missing with the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children and the National Crime Information Center. Um, also, the police stated. Um, Police stated that they had over 50 tips. Um, every single of them was followed. Um, I've also seen that apparently there was um, some sightings uh, reported of her, but that wasn't confirmed. That's just speculations. And do you remember with um, Gabby's Petito's case, when basically the whole America was like, oh, I've seen Brian there, I've seen Brian there, and everyone was just seeing him. And, and um, according to the investigation, he should have been in that forest just next to the house, you know. So, um, so I think people are really eager to help and they want to see her. They want to notice her. But sometimes it's just our brains playing up. Or sometimes maybe people really believe it's her, but it's... It's not. Okay. Uh, I think that's everything. I just, just very short video today. Just, that's everything I wanted to say. Um, just a little update. FBI joined the case. Um, thorough investigation is being proceeding. Um, and yeah, so I think that was, that was everything. What I wanted to say. Yeah, and um, so police believe she's in danger. The mum believes she's held somewhere where she's not allowed to um, contact anyone. And you know, I think we should hope she's held somewhere and she's still alive and um, she's gonna be found and everything gonna be fine so I'll keep you guys updated if you have information there's a running line with a telephone number and stuff and I'll post in the dis video description as well down below um, if you have anything um, you want to say to me about this case or if you want me to cover other cases i have my email address in my about section you're welcome to email me there um like my video just to get some more um basically help youtube algorithm to make this video popular and more viewable to everyone to spread the word subscribe um and yeah and i'll see you i'll see you soon and i'll be following this case um and yeah thank you for watching and uh, bye for now